What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Francis Michelle here. So happy you guys are in this video, watching this video today. Today's video, I want to share with you guys how I stay organized and how I don't let um, like everything that I have on my plate overwhelm me. And I really want to share with you guys, it's taken me quite some time to organize myself and not let everything that's on my plane overwhelm me. <laughs> so if you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. I'm Frances Michelle. I am a mom of three boys. I juggle YouTube, juggle Instagram, juggle blog, and I juggle a shop. Uh, and ministry. So yes, I do have a lot on my plate. So I have to organize myself in a, in a, in a, in a way that... I can be a mom, I can be a wife, and I can enjoy my time and not like overwhelm myself where I'm just like super exhausted and I cannot manage. So in today's video, I want to share with you mainly how I organize myself during like weekdays for the house. So before we get to this video, I want to please ask you to consider subscribing to my channel because that will be amazing. And follow me on my Instagram account right down below. And also I do have a planning account. So this video kind of merges who I am, both sides as a blogger and as a mom and also as a planner addict. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So I want to show you guys, um, I took it to my Instagram a couple of weeks back and I told you guys how I organized myself according to blocks. So what block is, is um, I divide the week into um, five days. I know I don't like putting in my block system um, Saturday and Sunday because those are like my, well, technically I do have Saturday to be honest. I do have Saturday in my blog, but as you're going to see, Saturday is not like an overwhelming day. But Sunday, I definitely leave it off because Sunday is more like for family. Do not touch anything that belongs to the house. Don't do it or else punishment will come up on your life. <laughs> Anyways, so I want to show you guys how I stay organized is with planners, guys. I plan and I am obsessed with my planners and I feel like you need a planner in your life if you juggle more than one thing. Heck, if you juggle just one thing, being a mom. If you juggle just being a mom, um, you need to be on top of bills. You need to be on top of cleaning, organizing, picking up kids from school, um, field trips, um, b b b fundraisers. A lot of things as a moms are on our plates and we definitely need to be on top of everything and be, be a mom and not let your house fall and be eaten by roaches or all that. I mean, that is just to the extreme, I know. So I keep myself organized with many many planners i at the moment have two planners i actually do i actually use three planners but i am in the process of purchasing my third one and i'll show you guys you're gonna say three planners why do you need the heck the inter planner hey whatever works for you to be able to organize yourself then be it so i have my first planner here it's my happy planner this one is um my recent baby i'm obsessed with it i am going to do a flip through video of this planner so if you're interested in seeing what's inside and how i keep it then that's gonna be another video. So this is my happy planner and this is where I keep um, pretty much everything from house, uh, job, uh, everything. So this is like my main baby. This is like the main mama. So here I keep my calendar of blocks. Now I have another planner, which is another happy planner. So this one is pretty much what I like to take with me. Um, this is more of uh, personal. So in here you guys are going to see everything that has to do with um, like, like personal like doctor appointments um bills to pay budgeting um a shopping list um what i have to buy what i have to pay so pretty much this one is um for keys with me so now going back to how i am doing my life around blocks so this is what this video is about so i <clears throat> okay i recommend you grabbing and i will definitely show you how i did it I recommend grabbing an agenda. You can do uh, uh, an agenda that pretty much has uh, a layout like this. This one has a layout where it says, I'm gonna come closer, where it has um, the days, it has Monday through Sunday, and then you can just pretty much write whichever um, sure you wanna do on that date. So I wanna show you my um, block and how I did it. So what I did is I took out I took two pages and I um, kind of put them together. So this is what my blog page looks like. This one right here. 
So I decorated it with um, just one day at a time because we do need to take it one day at a time. This is something that my mom and my husband has taught me a lot. They were like, relax, you're stressing, take things one day at a time. So that is the reason why I created this block. This is the reason why I'm trying to stick to this block because I find myself very overwhelmed very quickly. Like I feel like, oh my God, I have to wash clothes. I have to fold clothes. I have to do this. I have to record. I have to cook I have to and I overwhelm myself and I can and you can get sick honestly stress stress stresses you stress stressing causes illness so that is the reason why I decided to create um blocks where I can manage and stay on top of one thing or maybe two things during the week and not overwhelm myself and I decided that I did not want Saturdays to be the day where I'm sitting in my house with my family and we're we're being slaves to cleaning the house I feel like Saturdays here, it's for us to chill, relax. My husband loves watching movies and staying indoors. So that is a reason, another reason why I created blocks. So let's go ahead and get started because I'm talking about blocks and you guys are probably wondering what the hell they are. So this is the page I created. I sort of um, glued it together. I put a washi tape and I just pretty much took two pages that come from um, the Happy Potter and I created the blocks. So if you guys want to see like an actual video of how I did it, like actually me showing you, then let me know. I will do a video for you. But I want to show you guys. I created on one side of the paper, I created Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on the other side, I put Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then what I did is I wrote down on a piece of paper all the chores that I have to do in my house. All the chores. This has nothing to do with um, work-related, uh, YouTube, blog, or nothing. So all the chores that I know that I do in my house, I wrote it down in a piece of paper. And then I sat down with my page open, and I started pretty much um, putting them day by day so I want to show you on Monday I normally have grocery shopping and errands the reason why I chose Mondays to be grocery shopping and errands is because it's the day my husband stays home from work so he's with me he can help me um, go grocery shopping and I love going Mondays because everyone's back to work kids are in school so the um, stores are not so heavy they're not so packed and pretty much a lot of stores tend to put all their um, inventory out by Monday most of them so on Monday is the reason that's the reason that Monday is when I chose to do grocery shopping and do my errands and plan out my weeks for my meals for the week so the reason why I pick out the meals for the week on Monday is because I went grocery shopping so I already bought everything so I have everything I need to make my meal so I sit down in another list and I start planning, okay, Monday I'm cooking rice and chicken, on Tuesday I'm, co I'm, I'm cooking turkey ground meat with this, this, and that. And like that I know that if I bought everything or if I need to go back to the store and buy something because I missed it because I needed to cook on Thursday. So that is block number one. That is block Monday block. That is just pretty much all that I do. And um, that's it. I, I don't do more because I'm out doing groceries and doing errands and I overwhelm myself. So that's it, I'm done. On Tuesday, we're going to clean. Tuesday, what I like to do is clean the bathroom. So I go in and clean both of my bathrooms. I have two bathrooms in my apartment, so I clean the master bathroom and the kids' bathroom. Tuesdays. And also, I sweep and mop the apartment, and I vacuum the rooms, and I wash towels. So it's not a lot, to be honest. Those three things are not a lot. I do have, like I said, I have two bathrooms, and my and sweeping and mopping the apartment. Um, my apartment is very small, so it doesn't take me a lot. So I decided to do that. And vacuuming the rooms, I only have two rooms in my apartment, so again, it's not that. Now, if you have a bigger home, you have four bedrooms, and you have three and a half bathrooms, you are probably not gonna wanna do bathrooms and um, vacuuming the same day because it's you're like literally cleaning the whole house and that is not the point of blocks blocks is not for you to clean the whole house on one day block is for you to work on things during the day of the week so that is the reason why i chose again this block works for me works for my home when you're doing your block like say just sit down yeah you see he agrees just sit down and write all the errands you have I mean, and write down all the shorts you have and then you categorize them and put them in the days where it really works for you. So, I wash towels. It doesn't say I fold the towels. It says I wash the towels. I'm done, okay? So, my Wednesday block, I clean the kitchen. That's where I go in and clean the kitchen. Um, I scrub the kitchen sink. I clean the kitchen counters. I clean out our, my fridge. I clean appliances. And I fold the towels. So, the towels from the... 
Yep, he's telling you to. <laughs> so the towels that I washed Tuesday, I'm sorry, the towels that I washed on Tuesday, yes, I fold them on Wednesday. <laughs> and then we're following on Thursday's block. On Thursday is organized a day. I organize, I dust everything, I change my bed sheets. Now this is something that I do like on a weekly basis. And then I clean fans. So fans normally I will probably clean them on Thursday and I will probably have to clean them again till like two weeks. So you can always like put on the bottom things that you won't do on an everyday basis but like uh, every two weeks type thing. You know what I mean? Like some people clean the patio uh, once every two weeks. So you can do that. You can put on Thursday, on Wednesday, every other Wednesday. And you can put every other Wednesday, every other th Thursday, and you can put whatever you want on every other Thursday. All right, my Friday block, I do laundry. On Fridays, I like to do laundry. The kids come home from school, so um, I have all the dirty clothes through, that I use during the week. And my kids' clothes that they use during the week, I have them, so I do laundry on Friday. So I put all the clothes, all the loads of laundry into the washer on Friday. Um, I wash my clothes, and I, and I go ahead and sweep the floors again. That is all I do on Fridays. All right, and then on Saturday, all we do is put the clothes away, the clothes that we wash on Friday. We put our clothes away because everyone's in the house, so everyone helps. My husband helps me put on um, fold our clothes away while the kids in the room divide their clothes. They put their clothes, they fold them, and they put the clothes away. Yes, my kids help me a lot around the house. They do have chores. There was somebody um that said, "Hey, my husband and my kids help me. Why don't yours?" They do help me, but I am a stay-at-home mom, so I'm here all the time. So I like to keep my house clean. But they do have their own chores. My my oldest has his chore. My um little one kind of has a short but he's very lazy you don't like cleaning and but that's the reason why i chose on saturdays for us to fold the clothes because we're here and it doesn't take a lot so we wake up we have breakfast we fold clothes and that's it and we don't have anything else to do besides um watch tv or do errands or go outside and enjoy the day so these are my blocks again this is what works for francis this is what works for my house I do have other things that I need to add on here, but I wanted to make this video for you guys, so I, I didn't finish adding a couple of things. But I recommend, just grab a piece of paper. I did this because it I wanted to fit it on my, on, my, on my happy planner. So that's the reason why I did this. But you can just grab a regular paper, um, and you can just pretty much put the six days of the week, and you can even put it on your, on your, on your, um, on your fridge door and you can divide it by names you can have your oldest do something your youngest do something or whatever but um this is just pretty much like i said i like to put this in my planner because my planner is where i go to for it so that's why i created a double sheet like this and whatnot and but yeah guys this is pretty much how i stay organized how i stay on top of things how i decided not to overwhelm myself like Today, I need to clean the bathrooms. Okay, I clean the bathrooms. I don't have to clean the bathrooms till next Tuesday. If anything happens, well, you can just pass a little Lysol on top of the toilet or whatever. But it's not like it's super dirty where you need to find yourself cleaning it and you're overwhelming yourself. So my recommendation is take a piece of paper, write down Monday through Saturday, write down all your chores and start separating and dividing them on which days you want. And if you have help, then that's amazing. That's great. But this is what has worked for me. This is great on, and I love it. I go through, I actually am sticking to it. I Today is Saturday. I'm not supposed to be recording. I'm not supposed to be working, but because it's been really hard for me to record during the weekdays because I'm by myself with my baby, um, I have to record today that my husband's home and he's helping watch the kids. So today, pretty much, all I have to do is fold my clothes and that's it. I'm not going to have my, my husband, my kids do anything else. Now, when it comes to dishes, I recommend doing the dishes every single night. Once you're done with the kitchen, like you're cooked, make sure you clean the dishes so the next morning you wake up to clean dishes. The worst thing is to wake up one day and have dishes piling from two days ago. And I know make doing the dishes is dreadful. Trust me, I dread doing the dishes. Or if you have a washer, a dishwasher machine and you use it, then that's great. Put in, load the dishwasher every single night, turn it on in the morning when you wake up and you're doing breakfast, just unload the dishwasher. That's what I have to say when it comes to dishes. So this is pretty much how I stay organized on top of the house and whatnot. And now when it comes to like YouTube, blog, um, Instagram, and my um, shop, then of course, like I said, again, I cannot stress it enough, a planner. I have my planner divided into um, my sections. I have um, like 
YouTube and what I have to do for YouTube and da da da. And I choose the days and the month and the days of the month where I want to upload and all that. But how do you stay organized? Honestly speaking, um, just kind of get yourself a planner. Get yourself into the habit of writing things out. I even got my husband a planner. So he can stay on top of his work stuff. So I recommend a planner. It definitely is going to help you organize yourself. And it's definitely going to organize your life. And when it comes to the house, doing little bit every single day, you're going to avoid to be on top of loads and loads and loads of clothing. So there's people that need to choose two days of the week to do laundry. Then go ahead and choose the two days of the week to do laundry. Just do it what works for you that you're not overwhelming yourself and at the same time you will have time to enjoy with your family because honestly those times pass by really, really quick. So anyways guys, this has this were my tips on how I stay organized and how I stay on top of things. I really hope you like it. I really hope you enjoy the video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my social sites, Francis Michelle for my personal and planning with Francis for my planner account. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for your support. Much is best. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.